And bada boom. I mean, and, and the whole point of this is it's not going to break the bank. And I think you pretty much are getting your money's worth with, uh, with all the highs and lows. I mean, I, I think it'd be, let's be realistic. It would be great. Your first horse out, your first race to win, but you know, you kind of, you got to go through a little bit of ups and downs. You got to learn what all the different horses can do. You've had experiences up and down and now you finally got to a win and you're like, wow, okay. It's, it's kind of, as, as much as we all hate to lose, it's kind of good to lose sometimes because when you do win and you get that high, it really is awesome. Well, I feel very fortunate because I believe this is the seventh start I've had owning a horse and we got to win. I see a lot of people going 20, 30, 40 times without yeah. a win. Well, going back to Mark Weaver, he went, he claimed a bunch of horses. It took him six months of racing a lot to get his first win. So, yes. uh, you know, it's, it's, it's difficult and it's challenging, but man, uh, like you said, this isn't going to break the bank and it's, it's a good opportunity for new people to get involved. It's, and uh, the social media work and like I said, the communication that uh, Ed and Tom do with VIP, you know, you have any questions or anything, they'll answer you, you know, quickly on an email or, and like I said, they keep you updated on what's going on with your horse. Totally in touch. It's not like, you know, you're questioning, you know, well, what, what's going on with this horse? Yeah. And it, it, that, that's, and for me, being an, a new owner, it, it's great to know that they do care about their horses and they, they do care about the people involved who are owning and are putting their money up. I mean, even somebody with 1% as opposed to somebody that might have 50% of a horse, it seems like they treat everyone the same way. You're just as important to them. Well, yeah, and, and, and they should be because, uh, you know, a lot of those 1%, you, you keep piling up those 1% and uh, they add up and, and every person matters. And, and I think what uh, hopefully this is a, a new, that this staple of business is, is here to stay and we can get a lot more people involved. And hopefully your tree branches out over the next year or, or whatever where, you know, people see your enthusiasm for owning and uh, hopefully uh, you, you know where to direct them now. Uh, and listen, you don't have to direct them at, at – VIP or, or Renee, you know, just direct them to harness racing. Uh, right. I think that's, I think that's the overall message for, for all of this, but, uh, it's, it's a great story. And, and I hope that, uh, hope that American alive continues to win and you know, uh, all the, all your, you, just, you, you gotta have ups and downs, but win, 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 right? Give me more wins. Right. No, like I said to Marianne a couple of times, we're watching our horse, just get a fifth place check. Just, just get a check. <laughs> You're happy with that. Just get a check. So, all right, we, we got Brian and uh, Marianne Masaryk, and uh, listen, uh, th this great story, and, and this is what it's all about. So thank you, guys, and uh, I really appreciate it.